What's up guys, John here with AccessoryGeeks.com. As you see in front of you, we have the Samsung Epic 4G and the T-Mobile G2. So I'm gonna do a quick benchmark test on these two to show you kind of how they compare with one another even though they are on different networks. So this first test is gonna be using uh, Linpack and Quadrant and we're gonna see the respective scores for both of them. So let me go ahead and queue both those tests up. Go ahead and get this Epic care of. So let's go ahead and open up uh, Linpack. Here's Linpack. Now let me get RG2. And I'm going to open up Linpack. There you go. So I'm going to go ahead and hold them both up here and I'm going to start the test and we'll see what we get. So go. 33.4 and the Epic is still running. 8.09. Okay, so obviously the G2 runs a little bit faster. It is on Froyo, so you might want to you know, take that into consideration. Once the G2 or the Epic gets put onto Froyo, I would expect this score to be a little higher. Also, quick note, you all know that the Epic is running Hummingbird, the one gigahertz, and the G2 is running Scorpion, the 800 megahertz. So, quick note, let's go ahead and open up Quadrant. So, let me go ahead and kill all the tasks. Tools, and here's Quadrant. Uh, okay. Let me go and do the same on our Epic. quadrant okay and we're gonna run full benchmark on both of them and go I know a lot of you guys would like to see all these little neat little details I'm really sorry for the glare there you go and there's some little specks on the bottom so you guys can Get a good look at that. Again, I'm sure a lot of you have ran um, these benchmarks before, so you know what screens are showing up. I'm just getting a closer view on the FPS and the frames on the bottom. And it looks like the G2 is about to finish up and the epic is a step behind so i'm going to see the benchmark results on the g2 and then let's go ahead and see them on the epic okay so the g2 clocks in at about you can't see that 16,000 and or 1603 sorry and the epic clocks in at 905 now i know a lot of you might get different quadrant scores so you know this isn't what everyone's going to get, but just kind of a quick overview. So the G2, 1603. The Epic, 905. Again, this is running the Scorpion, 800 megahertz. This is running the Hummingbird, 1 gigahertz. So there you go. So that's a quick benchmark. I'm going to go ahead and run a couple more, but those will be in other videos. So keep an eye out for those. This is John from AccessoryGeeks.com reminding you, you got it from a geek.